Greetings my Kendras, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing something a little out of it different. Um, I learned that a lot of people are very much unaware that I am an actual hairstylist. I did go to a beta cosmetology school in Soho, New York and um, yeah, people are like, you do hair? Oh, girl, you do hair? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, for the past year I did decide to kind of take a step back from the chair just, you know, to kind of get myself together but now i'm definitely in a space where i am ready to get back to my craft okay so today um uh, we're going to be doing something new this is actually my first time i'm um, doing this type of install you know when i was doing hair it was sew-ins and wig installs that were like the thing i mean that is still very much relevant but now the girls are looking for tape-ins eye tip in these hybrid installs so luckily I had a client, she was like, hey, do you know how to do tape ins? And I was like, girl, <laughs> uh, you're gonna be my first time client. So girl, yeah, come through. <laughs> so she already came with her hair pre-wash because um, if you guys don't know, I work from home. I just went ahead and I um, gave her a suppress and trimmed her ends. And then after that, we're just gonna get right into the install. This video is sponsored by Y Wigs. They actually inspired me to get into tape ins because they reached out to me and they was like, hey, we would love for you to um, do a review on our tape ins, da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe I should get into that. So I went ahead and I went with the 20 inches of their Light Yaki tape ins. They, I ended up using, um, they ended up sending me 300 grams, which is equivalent to like three bundles, but I only literally used two um, 100 grams on her head. I like how on the website they provide you with like videos on how to install and how to remove your tape-ins and two how to take care of them and maintain them which is really good so like i said they sent me three bun 300 grams of the tape-ins um i really do like this texture because it blends so well with natural hair like suppressed natural um four grade hair so yeah um this video isn't necessarily going to be a tutorial on how to um, install tape-ins if you guys do want a tutorial leave a comment down below and i will definitely do that for you guys next time but this is just um a video of me reviewing their light yaki um textured tape-ins and um yeah just sit back and just uh, watch me work okay mind you this is my first time doing tape-ins and your girl <laughs> Your girl Slay, I think I'm just a natural. I'm honestly just a natural. I hate it to my own horn, but your Kendra is literally a natural to almost everything. <laughs> through this install i noticed that one of the tape ends did not have any tape on it 
but the show must continue um yeah I'm, I'm halfway through this install and maybe i think i haven't found the love of my life i think this has to be one of my favorite installs like you cannot tell me that this is not coming out of my client's scalp look how seamless this is look how flat like you like i don't know you just can't get any better than this now i haven't heard horror stories about um reinstalling tape ins and like reusing them a lot of stylists don't want to be bothered they're like get somebody else to do it i'm not doing it a lot of stylists do not offer um that service i'm still contemplating so you know i work from home but i'm thinking on the days where i do offer um reinstall services and maintenance services that i just went out a studio and work from the studio i'm thinking to start doing that actually like having like a shampoo day and a um maintenance day maybe i'll probably do that like on sundays rent out a studio and have my clients meet me at the studio so that way i can you know and shampoo their hair give them trims and do my tape-ins and i tip you know um maintenance services and things of that nature but yeah i'm gonna get back to letting you guys watch this video and i'll give you guys my honest review on the my wigs texture tape ins <laughs> completing this install in about three hours and it, i feel like it only took me that long because i was recording from my phone and my camera and i was trying to get different angles and i was like stopping and going but i really believe that i can um do this type of install in a matter of like two hours maybe an hour and 45 minutes or so but yeah this looks so seamless it looks so freaking good so the way i installed it i installed it to where she could wear it um, all up in a bun if she wanted to, um, half up, half down, or just all down with a part in the middle. Then yeah, I really love this texture. The light is light, yakky texture. It blends so well with her natural hair. She has the type of hair where any type of humidity will make your hair like poof up. And I think this texture um, is best suit for her and her hair texture. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video uh shout out to wild wigs for sponsoring this video and i will see you guys in the next video bye